Absolutely. Well, to be honest, I was thinking this morning, why haven't we done this before? It's such a natural fit. And I think, you know, for us at the IA, lots of people in the IA community have a really emotional connection to the M&Ms. I think it's fair to say that you are such a, a central part of the international community in London. And that's where we sit as well. So it just feels that like a completely natural a natural partnership and really the decision to go ahead has been an easy one it just comes from the heart it feels like that's the right place to be so that's really the main reason and i think for us at the ia you know people tend to have quite an emotional connection with our organization once they're involved they they tend to like really enjoy the community and want to stay and we we tend to measure our success on how people feel when they've engaged with the ia and I think that's, I can see similar values in the M&Ms as well. So as well as the serious business side, I think there's there's that kind of special place that it has in the heart of the international community. And so that's why it's such a natural fit for us. I think for us at the IA, what we really want to celebrate is great campaigns and creativity that come out of London. And I think that's what we what we want to champion and what we want to be a part of. So I think it's such a it's such a niche part of the industry, international media in London. And so I think we'll be looking for um, really great campaigns that do a great job of taking a brand across broad, cross border, which is really what the IA is all about as well. And a way of showcasing great media planning and creativity that comes out of the UK, which I think is such an important part of our industry. And I think possibly post-Brexit, there was some worry that the UK would lose its place as the hub of international media. But so far, we're not really seeing that. We're still seeing that the UK can deliver amazing campaigns on a global basis.